Let me show you how to make insanely beautiful images like this and turn them into videos in just two minutes. Two years ago, I created this video that turned into the world's most viewed YouTube mid-journey tutorial. A lot has changed since then, but one thing remains the same. Mid-journey is still the best looking image generator out there, and it's incredibly easy to use. There are a few new features you want to know about, and there is one workflow in particular that I will teach you now, and in my opinion, it hits the sweet spot between ease of use and precise customization. To get started, you will need three things. First of all, a mid-journey account, which you can easily create by just logging in with your Google account. Secondly, a Midjourney subscription. And thirdly, a web browser to access midjourney.com. Alternatively, you could also use Discord, but I would highly recommend the web browser as at this point it has all the features and it's just so much simpler to use. As soon as you have those three, you will be able to type in your very first prompt up here and we'll start with something simple like a cat with a hat. As soon as you hit enter, it will start generating your very first image. You can see four versions of that image being created right here. Now, if I like one of these, I could click it to create variations with these buttons or I just send a brand new prompt up here, which I could then modify through these settings. Maybe I want a portrait and I want more variety in my images. As you can see, now there's a lot of variety here. Now, once you get something you're happy with here, you can click the image and here under animate image, I will pick the low motion preset, which will turn this image into a video. The same options are available if you right click any image, which is the fastest way to do this. And here's my favorite part, how to bring a unique style to these generations. There's many ways to do this image journey, but based on my experience, the best one is with a so-called ref code referring to a style reference and you can find these if you go to the explore tab and then here on top you switch to the styles panel now this will allow you to browse different styles and when you find one that you like for example this one right here you can copy this href code into any prompts that you write and it will use exactly this style or you can press try style which will apply this to your latest prompt immediately generating a cat with a hat with this particular style this allows you to create consistency amongst many generations two important notes to consider with all of this. First of all, as long as you don't turn on stealth mode, which is only accessible in the pro or mega plan, everything you generate is publicly visible. Secondly, you have the commercial rights to all the images you generate, but if your company makes over a million a year, you will also need the pro or mega plan to get the full rights. For more details, check out their terms of service. And there you go, from creating an account all the way to generating personalized images and videos in just the style you like. I included links to more tutorial videos in the video's description. And if you're looking for more inspiration, their explore tab or just looking for the keyword mid journey on Twitter surfaces some of the best stuff going around right now.